Brandon Hall's here. I can't remember the piece of scripture exactly, but it's in uh, 1 John, I believe, and it talks of the water and the blood, and it also talks uh, about the three that bear witness, the Father, the Word, and the Holy Ghost. Or maybe they're the ones that record in heaven. And then the witness is the, uh, the water, the blood, and something else. I can't remember, but that's what I see when I look at water. Or I think of the living water. Or, <laughs> third option is, I think of pollution. I think how we polluted the earth how this river or this creek that I'm looking at I'd be terrified to take a drink out of it and that's a shame it's a shame that you can't walk outside find your closest water source and get a drink it's a shame that if you kill an animal or let's just let's stay with the water for a minute if you go fishing then you probably ought to check all your advisories to make sure that this is a, a creek or a river or a lake that you're able to eat out of. For some are so polluted that you can't even eat the fish you get out of it. And this is happening all around the world with all animals. All animals are, are getting sick. There's whales washing up everywhere. I mean everywhere. And it doesn't, it doesn't stop with the whales. You have dolphins. Uh, the urchins, everything, anything that you can imagine is washing up in, I mean, in, in record numbers, really. For we are dumping things into the ocean, all sorts of chemicals. Chemicals with names so big that you can't even pronounce them. And there's so much red tape, you can't really, you can't really do nothing about it. You can't find out too much about it, how they do it, or when they do it, or where they do it. And the thing is, it's killing our ocean. It's killing our creeks. But we're doing the same thing. We're doing the exact same thing. If you pick up, even water has salt. has salt in it. It may be under sodium, but it has salt in it. Water that we drink, that we buy, some of it even has sugar in it. And these are not the ones that are flavored look into it they have all sorts of things in them and then don't even get me started on cereal there's so many chemicals that we can't even pronounce more or less understand exactly why they're there in all of our foods as if we haven't learned that dumping chemicals into things that are consumed by mammals because we are mammals will kill you it's killing our oceans, it's killing our rivers, it's killing our lakes, and it's killing us. We're all consuming things that will kill you. They'll kill you, kill you dead. And not only are we consuming things in our flesh that you, know, you don't really think much about, but we're consuming this deathly, culture that's just death that's all it is it's all death we look up to people who take all their clothes off and prance around and that's really why we like them we don't really like them their music that much most of them we just like to look at them and have vulgar thoughts when we watch their videos we do not appreciate people for their voice We're consuming things on the daily that lead to death. We poisoned our earth. Now we are poisoning our minds. And in doing so, we're killing our spirit. It comes down to which one you feed. If you seek our Father, Yahweh, if you seek Yahweh, and you love Yeshua, 
You must quit consuming with idols. You must speak out, write your senator, write your congressman about pollution. Write to them about anything that is not in line with the laws of God. But we're running out of time, people. This world is falling apart. It's falling apart and our people are falling apart. We're not what we once were. There is no family unit anymore. Our family unit is see how we can distract each other through idols, false idols, that is right. Through anything. I mean, well, you might even give them candy. I mean, really? Give them some candy. Uh, you know, give them some Mountain Dew. Put them on YouTube. And don't even look at them no more. Don't even think about them. Go down the road. You just ate your Burger King. Made everybody happy. They're nice and plump. Sling it out the window. Who cares? Nobody cares. We don't care anymore. We don't love God and we do not appreciate what he has gave us. We don't appreciate that he gave us an earth and he filled it with things that we could fill ourselves with, our flesh, even our flesh, that we could fill ourselves with. He gave us his word to feed off of. We've forgotten that. To feed off of and to be made new and have eternal life but we don't even we don't even think of those things what do we think of our way right away that's what we think about instant gratification this is not a drive-through folks in your body you only get one you only get one body we only get one earth when this one's done we ain't gonna be here for the new one we'll be either in heaven or in hell we have to start taking care of our body which is our temple start taking care of our family if you have children bring them up in the word teach them to appreciate what God has given us teach them that Every day is precious. Every single day. Every tooth in your head is precious. The creek in the backyard is precious too. But the thing that's most, that's most precious is God. For we should love Him above all. And in doing so, He will bless us. For if you send prayers up, blessings will come down. For God the Father is in us all if we seek Him out. He will fill us and He will make us new through His Son, Yeshua. So I'm going to say, people, that I haven't been perfect in this. My temple's a wreck. But I'm working at it. I'm working out drinking Kool-Aid instead of Mountain Dew all day long which ain't much better but at least it's it has more water in it and it's not carbonated it doesn't have 500 chemicals I can't understand <laughs> yellow number seven that's been proven to cause cancer you know about 10 years ago I realized that this world was in trouble when you couldn't walk outside and get a drink out of the creeks I'll tell you, I went to, I went to a river, and this, this is a river people fish in. They still fish in. They eat out of it. And there was a sign up that says, do not eat out of this river. I said, wow, okay. Took the sign home with me. Probably shouldn't have done that. Hung it on my wall. <laughs> I know that was a sin. I stole it, but there was a few. I thought it was funny. When I look back at it, there's nothing funny about it. It's sad. It's really sad. It's really sad that God's people has forgotten that He fulfilled us, and gave us everything that we would ever want, he gave us a way to make 
families. He gave us a place to put our children, the matrix, so, which is a womb. Gave us a womb and a wife, a wife with a womb, that she could give birth and give us more, more. He just give us more all the time. Give us more of our family. He'll give us more love if we'll just show him love. And this, this earth probably would have went on forever. But he knew that we wouldn't keep the covenant. We made a deal with him. We we're supposed to, supposed to love him. And he gave us everything. He pretty much just handed us everything on a silver platter. But we polluted the air. And we polluted the water. And I am guilty as just, I'm as guilty as everybody else. People think I'm pointing a finger at somebody. I'm not pointing a finger at nobody except myself. But I've made this vow. I didn't do good with my daughter. So with my nephew, my nephews, and I'm trying to do it with my niece. I'm trying to bring them up in the word. I'm trying to teach them that this earth is a precious gift. I take uh, the little one out and we go around and we pick up trash. Pick up trash, we clean up. I take him on hikes. I'm trying to teach him about camping, hunting. Now he's terrified of crawdads. I'm gonna tell you, it was pretty, it was kind of funny really, but he's terrified of them. I can't get him to stick his hand in the creek and grab one. He's scared to death of them. But I'm just trying to teach him. I'm trying to teach him that being inside on a handheld device or on a game system is not the way. That's the way to divide yourself. Divide yourself from everyone while feeling like you're connected. You feel like you're connected. You feel like you're connected to everybody and everything. But it's a lie. It's artificial. I'm outside. I can touch this ground right now. But it's just the ground. It is just the ground. What's more important is what's on the inside. What's on the inside of us all is a, is a spirit. And we have to feed that spirit. Now, if we feed it through culture, which is sin, <laughs> it's all sinful. It's all sinful in nature. Then we will be feeding that Antichrist spirit. And that Antichrist spirit will get big and fat and plump and burrow in there. And we'll start accepting good for evil and evil for good. We'll do everything that culture says. Abstain from meats. <laughs> Be boisterous. Love yourself. And I mean, not love yourself as you love thy neighbor. I mean, love yourself so much that you're taking pictures all day long. Selfies. Instagram, YouTube, uh, Vimeo. I don't even know all of them. There's so many, they're hard to keep up with. Or, we can get in the Word, study Scripture, and pray. Put in works. Help your neighbors. Go outside. Try to clean up his earth a little bit. Because this is his earth. He made it. It was a present, more or less, to us. But we, but we don't appreciate that. But anyways, pray. Read your Bible to your children. Teach them that there is a spirit that dwells within. And you can either choose light or you can choose darkness. Now they painted darkness as light in this time. But don't be deceived. Darkness is not light and light is not dark. And they cannot even dwell with one another. For good and evil can't be hand in hand. There is three. The Father, the Son, and the Spirit. 
and they agree in one. Remember that. Even though it may say the Father and the Word and the Holy Ghost, they do agree in one. And although some of us may not completely agree with one another, we may be different members than we are. If we are God's people, we should agree under God. We should agree with one another. Our minds should align. Our families should align. If we bring them up in the Word and we teach them right, we show them what's right and wrong. I mean, what's really right and wrong. Not what our culture tells us is right and wrong. But what's really right and wrong, then we will agree. We'll agree in one. We won't have a chaotic household. We'll have a household built in love, built in trust, and it'll be wise beyond all its years. Now, I know some kids are harder than others, but handing them a handheld device instead of walking outside and letting them run that energy out teaching them about God because instead of instead of handing them a Snickers bar a little bit harder I guess but understand it's going to be worth it in the long run folks we're running out of time our earth is dying our people are dying we're in that last time. And I know I keep saying that, but the time is at hand. The time is at hand to walk inside, show love to your family, bring them up in the Word, and just try to save as many people as you can. Go out and make disciples if think you can. But most of all, save yourself and save your family. There's something on the horizon that's going to seem beautiful, but it's withered away already. It's dead as it can be. Don't be deceived. And don't just decide that you ain't going to act. You're going to stand to the side and be a lukewarm Christian. You know what it says about that in the scripture. He will spew you from his mouth. He'd rather you be cold than be lukewarm. Be hot for your family. Get in there and be passionate. I speak with passion and people say that I'm angry. I'm not angry. I'm from fire for the Lord. I'm passionate. I'm passionate about teaching them anything that has to do with the Father. And I mean anything. And I'm passionate about trying to get it right this time for I've messed up once before and I intend on getting it right this time don't be deceived people trust your memories this is Brandon Halls here coming to you by the creek side God bless If this don't cut off, folks, I'm going to go ahead and walk back up to the house and dry my hands off. And uh, we'll keep on talking for a second. I wake up every morning, people. I listen to a little bit of music and I try to get in the mood to, to do another day. Because, <laughs> heck, I'm getting a little older. I, I don't get up and just have a ton of pep in my step like I used to but I pray now I ain't gonna lie I haven't prayed this morning but I prayed not last night quite a bit so I'm gonna walk inside when I get this video to stop and I'm gonna pray I'm gonna pray as soon as I get inside and I'm gonna ask my father to lead my day to can continue to feed me through his word because when you read the scripture, you are, which is, that's the written word. You're fed. You feed your spirit. But I'm also going to ask him to feed me through his living word, which is Yeshua. 
like the Holy Spirit. I love you all. Hopefully this thing will stop now. If it won't, then I'm just going to do this. Have a, have a good day, people. And God bless. I love you all. I am Brandon Hollis here. And this is God's real ministry.